أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. So we will inshallah try to conclude our study of Sifa Masuf today. I mean, this is the second fragment that we are learning and uh, this is a simple fragment, as I said last uh, yesterday, uh, simple as compared to Mudaf Mudaf Ilai, and the, uh, the plan will be to finish it. And, and I think we can do it. And inshallah, we will go into the breakout rooms as well um, near the end. Okay, Sifa Masuf. So just a, I'm, gonna, I'm going to revise a couple of things that we did yesterday, and then we move on to uh, some... Uh, uh, some exercise inshallah so i need someone to work with me so anusha can you help me out assalamu alaikum so other than anusha everybody's mic should be off can you switch your mic off thank you all right anusha you're going to work with me to make Sifa Masuf, okay? Okay. So I'm going to give you, first I'm going to give you the vocabulary you need. New, in Arabic is Jadidun or Jadidatun. Jadid, if you say something is new and it is masculine, you say Jadidun. And the thing which is new is feminine, you say Jadidatun. So this is just vocabulary, okay? Okay. Beautiful. If the thing which is beautiful is masculine, you say jamilun. And if it is feminine, you say jamilatun. Just add a tamarbuta at the end. And the car, the word for car is sayyaratun. Okay, these are the words you need to know to do the exercise we are going to do together, inshallah. Inshallah. Okay, now the task is, this is a phrase. This is a fragment, rather, a new car. In this fragment, obviously, car is masuf. Do you agree, or car is a sifa? I agree. It's masuf. Okay. And new is the word describing the car. This is this is an adjective, so it is a sifa. We are you are good so far? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Now you need to translate. That is the task. Translate into Arabic using the vocabulary yeah. given up. Okay. 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 you're with me? Yeah, I'm there. Okay. Right. okay. You know the task? Yeah, I know the task. Okay, go ahead. Um, so it's Sayyaratun Jadidun. First word is Sayyaratun. So Sayyaratun is male or female? Female. Okay. Now, and now pick Jadidatun. Yeah, good. Because the gender has to match. Yes. What is the status of both of them? They're both um, Rafa. What is the gender of both of them? Um, feminine. Feminine. From Tamil Buta we know, right? We cannot put here Jadidun. Because Jadidun, if we do that, then the gender will not be the same anymore, right? And it will be Sifamosu. It won't be Sifa Musuf in that case, right? And both are singular and both are common. So they meet in all or they match in all the four properties. And therefore, this is Sifa Musuf. So a new car, Sayyaratun Jadidatun. Very good. Good job, Anusha. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Now we are make we are going to make this. Uh, Example, let's just add something to it. The new fragment is a new beautiful car. So I added the word beautiful in it, into it. So now we have to see how to do this. Um, okay, Ayan wants to do it. Ayan. Yes. First of all, in this in this English fragment. Tell me what is Masuf, what is Sefa? Uh, new and uh, beautiful is uh, Mos uh, is Sefa and mm -hmm. Masuf is Kar. So how many Masuf in this fragment? Two. Two, Two Masuf? Yes. 
Are you sure? There are two mausuf? Yes. How many sifa? Oh, no, no, not two mausuf. Sorry, sorry. I meant to say sifa. Sorry. So you meant to say there are two sifa? Yeah, there are two sifa, one mausuf. One mausuf. So this is an example where where one masuf has more than one sifa. That uh, similar example we did yesterday. All right. Okay. So car, as you said, is a masuf. Mm -hmm. And new is a sifa number one. Beautiful is a sifa number two. Now go ahead, translate this into English using the vocabulary given on the top row. Uh, okay. Um... Sayyaratun uh, Asayyaratun uh, Jamil Spa number one uh, Ajadid Ajadilatun Okay uh, Jamilatun Jamilatun Why do you didn't use Jamilun? Uh, because uh, that, because uh, Jamilun is masculine and Jamilatun is feminine. And why it has to be feminine? Because uh, Sayyaratun and Jadilatun are also feminine. You don't have to say Sayyaratun because Jamilatun is linked with Sayyaratun. It is Sayyar is a Sifa of Sayyara. So we have to compare Jamilatun with Sayyaratun and uh -huh. Jadilatun with Sayyaratun. Uh -huh. You don't compare these two. You go uh -huh. back to Sif Mosuf. Jamilatun is compared with Sayyaratun. Mm -hmm. And Jadidatun is also compared with Sayyaratun. All right. So say it in Arabic. Uh, okay. Sayyaratun, Jadidatun, Jamilatun. And what does it mean? A new beautiful car. A new beautiful car. Very good. So the, we did, an, uh, like, we went over a simple Sifa Masuf. And then a little complex where one masuf has two sifas. And there could be more than two, as we discussed yesterday. So now we are going to revise another thing. And I have written here fragment. And the task is to establish if this is a sifa masuf or it is not. This is the decision that we need to make. Okay. I will give you the meanings as well. Ayaman means days. Ma'adudatan means few, a few. And how we are going to establish this? I have made also made the table for you. So we're going to do the, you know, the routine that we have done before many times. All right, where is Abdullah? Abdullah Barar. Abdullah? Yes. Okay. Yes. The task for you is give me the status of a Yaman. A Yaman is Mausuf. Come on, Abdullah. When I ask about status, I'm asking, is it Rafa, Nasab, or Jar? Oh, sorry, it's a Rafa. Think about it. Give me the final answer after two seconds. Rafa or Jar? No, Abdullah, no. No. You have to go back to the Muslim chart. Now you listen, okay? You ask somebody else and you are going to listen, all right? Okay, okay. Uh, we need to know, Taimiya, what is the status of Ayyaman? Ayyaman, the status hmm? is Rafa. We have a problem here, Azan. What is the status of Ayyaman? Assalamu Okay, Zainab. What is the status of Ayyaman? Nasab. Nasab. Thank you, Zainab. 
we have to go back to the Muslim chart. See, Muslimun, Musliman, Muslimin, Rafa, Nasabjar. Uh, Muslimun, Musliman. So, Ayyaman is like Musliman. Second row in the Muslim chart. Muslimun is Rafa, Musliman is Nas, the Muslimin is Jar. Similarly, Ayyamun will be Rafa. Okay, Abdullah, this is not Ayyamun. If it was Ayyamun with two Dhamma on it, then it will be Rafa. If it is the two, it is, and when it has two, two, two Zabar, two Fatha on it, then it is Nasab, like Musliman. And then if it has two Kasra, to Zair, then it is Muslim uh, Ayyamin. It is like Muslimin. Then it be Jar. That is why we did the Muslim chart. Muslimun, Musliman, Muslimin. Similarly, Ayyamun, Ayyaman, Ayyamin. Ayyaman is Nasab. It cannot be Rafa or Jar. No, not at all. We are forgetting what we learned. It is not a good sign. Okay, so status of Ayaman is Nasab. Daniel, what is the status of Ma'adudatan? Ma'adudatan is also Nasab. Why it is Nasab? How do you know? Because at the last letter has two Zabar. So if it was Rafa, then what would be there? Ma'adudatan. And if it was Jar? If it was Jar, Ma'adudatan. Right. Did you hear all that, Abdullah? Ma'adudatun, ma'adudatan, ma'adudatin. And also, um, over here it says ayama mu'adudatan. Yeah, this is just to join the two, right? This is just to join the two, but it is actually ma'adudatan, right? Good. So ayaman is man nasab in nasab status, and ma'adudatan is also in nasab status. So we established that the first property matches they are both in nasab status so there right. is a typo actually brother shabazz meme has a page you know it should be zabar oh. oh sorry yeah that is my my uh my error yeah that was i was saying i was saying that why was it more do the time yeah you're right i didn't didn't really understand what you were saying so ma do that then now it is missing a zabar but that's okay now so it is not Can you still see my screen? No, you stopped sharing. Oh, I stopped sharing. Okay, sorry. So it is Maud. I will just share this again. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. All right. So this is where we were. So I corrected typo here, but we still have a typo here. It was copy pasted, so typo is, is still there. But anyway, I corrected one of them. Now we need to know the gender. Hmm? What is the gender of Ayaman? Muslim Iqbal. Uh, Muslim. Salam. Salam. What's the gender of Ayaman? Ayaman is female. Why? Ayaman is a broken plural. It's a broken plural. Why it is a broken plural? Because it doesn't end with una, ina, ina. Una, ina, or atun, or? Atun. Aten. So that is why it is a broken plural and broken plurals are feminine. All right. Ma'adudatan. Uh, this is. Oh, yes, this is also feminine. It is feminine. Why? Because it ends with Tamabuta. All right. So it meets the second one, huh? Yes. 
All right. So two two properties match. All right. Good. Thank you, uh, Musab. Okay, we have Abdul Haq. Abdul Haq. Yeah. What is the number? Is it singular, dual, or plural? Ayyaman. Dual. No. No. Daniel, what is it? Ayyaman is plural. Plural. Ayyaman is plural, but what kind of plural? It's a broken plural. And broken plurals are treated as what? Sing, uh, singular feminine. So we call it singular here, okay? If oh. it is treated as singular, we write it as singular, oh. even when it is plural. All right, good, Daniel. Okay. Uh, uh, Abir, Abir, you are with us? Yes, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Maduda, singular, dual, or plural? Maduda, mm -hmm. it's plural. Plural. Are you sure? Yes. It's like Muslimatun, Muslimatan, Muslimatin. So it is like Muslimatan. Are you still sure it is plural? No, no, no it's singular. Singular. What is the plural of this? Madudat. Madudatun. Right. Good. So this is singular. Singular, singular. Both match. Okay. Um, Abir, stay with me. Ayaman, is it common or proper? Ayaman is common. How about Madudatan? Madudan is Madudatan is also common. So, what's the verdict now? Uh, Ayaman Madudatan is Sifa Masuf. It is Sifa Masuf. Ayaman is Masuf. Madudatan is Sifa, and this is Sifa Masuf. All right. Good. So now uh, I will spend a couple of minutes before we go to the breakout rooms on another exercise we are going to do and we will continue with that exercise in the breakout rooms. Okay. So there's a list of fragments and we need to tell if they are Sifamosuf or they are not Sifamosuf. Okay. All right. Now, Sheen. Ajlin Saminin. Walaikum salam. You can ask me the meaning if you are if you don't know the meaning. Ajlin Saminin. Is it Sifa Mosu for now? Um, what's the meaning of Saminin? Saminin means fat. Ajlin means a baby cow, a calf. Samin means fat. So what's, is it a Sifa Masuf or no? Um, yes, it is. What's the meaning? A fat cow. A fat baby cow. Does it meet in status? Is what? the status the same? Status, uh, yeah. What is the status of both of them? Um, Majroor. It's dirt. All right. And what is the gender? Um, male. Masculine. 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 There is no sign of femininity here. And what, is it singular, dual, or plural, both of them? Singular. And are they common or proper? Uh, common. Common. So they, the four properties match, and therefore, it is a... Sifa Mausuf. Okay. One more and then we go to the breakout room. Burak. Assalamu alaikum. Yes. Walaikum assalam. Ghulam means boy. Alim means knowledgeable. Okay. Give me the verdict. Is it Sifa Mausuf or no? Um, it is. Yes, it is. What's, what is the meaning? Um, boy is not, uh, no, boy is knowledgeable. You're making it a sentence. Uh, it's not a sentence. Oh, sorry. Um, knowledgeable, uh, knowledgeable boy. A knowledgeable boy. 
and why it is sifa mausuf why it it match all four the, properties match they match in all the four properties all right so we are going to continue with this practice uh, and we go to the breakout room inshallah <laughs>